This is Mitchell Elf, Designs in Nature, Honeybees, and the intro and conclusion. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everybody takes a look at the intro and conclusion. Um, it's a good uh, thing of good practice to always watch the intro and conclusion, even if you're only doing other centers, because it's chock full of helpful information for uh, kind of the whole unit of ELF. So as you know, we have our outline taped to the top of the boxes, and we have a suggested time of usage for a class time. So you want to do 15 minutes of setup, 15 minutes of intro, four centers of 15 minutes each, and then a 15-minute conclusion and 15-minute cleanup. That fills up your two-hour window nicely. And we always have these opening questions here with answers in parentheses. It's a good way to get kids talking and thinking. Um, this unit is on honeybees, and we're going to learn that honeybees are fascinating insects whose uniquely designed physical and social structures contribute to their survival and success. We're also, in this whole unit of ELF, going to learn about how important honeybees are for the function and um, form of, of civilization and, and people and plants and the ecosystems that they are involved in. So it's very important. Honeybees are very, very important. Um, you've probably heard a lot about them in the news lately. Um, and so we hope to touch on some of that through all of the centers. So. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and talk about what we have for the introduction. We always have the puppet show, which I'll get into, but we also have this really, really, really good video. And you'll have to get the teacher maybe to help you set this up at the beginning. It's 21 minutes long, so um, you could always have the teacher do this while you're setting up in the hallway or um, getting your parents kind of previewed on the stuff. Or you could have it um, for the snack and conclusion. So 21 minutes, it's kind of long for a video, but it's really, really good. So it's worth it. And I think it would be good for um, all ages. It would be good for kindergarten through fourth. So that's a really good thing um, to use for both. And then we have the puppet show, which we always do our handy dandy puppet show. Um, this puppet show has a father and a girl, and they're talking about honeybees, and her name's Polly. Father and the girl, and they're talking about bees, and then all of a sudden this fairy comes along, and poof, she changes the girl into a bee. Let's see here. Polly the bee. I think this is Polly the bee. Yep, it says Polly right at the bottom of the stick there. See? And as Polly goes around in the world, she's learning about nectar and gathering stuff and learning about beehives and worker bees and honeybees and queen bees. Lo and behold, we have a queen bee. She's got lovely eyelashes and a very much longer abdomen. She's quite big, bigger than Polly the worker bee. And you can see the difference in structure there. So you don't need to point that out to the kids, but it's important for you to be able to identify which one's the queen and which one's the girl. So this girl goes on a magical journey as being a bee. She learns all about honey and what it takes to produce honey. So the honey, the, the honey bee um, puppet, puppet show is pretty short, so that would take you know five minutes, and then you can ask questions afterwards um, about what the queen bee does, what the worker bee does, and all that. So then we're going to briefly go through all the handouts that are in here. Um, kids might have questions about killer bees. This is also in another um, center. So uh, this talks about the history of killer bees and what it means kind of to the United States of America because eh, they're coming. Threats to beekeeping. I touched on that. Mm -hmm. And then we have these great flyers from the um, honey board. And this one's the story of pollination. And you can see all these things that need to be pollinated. Sunflowers, almonds, pears, all kinds of different fruits and vegetables. And this one is the story of honey, and it just goes through. It's a really nice color brochure. It's going to be hard to show the kids um, as a whole big group, but you could use it in smaller groups. Then we have some information on honey, a colony collapse disorder more. More information than just that brief snippet I showed before. Um, after it, it, this explains that bees are in more trouble after a bad winter. So if it's a really especially hard winter that either kills the bees or kills the flowering trees and shrubs, um, bees have trouble. And more on colony collapse disorder. That's that. Okay, um, we have tons of books. So again, if you're not using the video, you could use a book and send the teacher out in the hall with a book. There's oh, probably six or eight books in here that show different um, important parts about bees. So you could pick one that's age appropriate for your grade and go from there. This one talks about the hive detectives, Chronicle of Honeybee Catastrophe. So this one would talk about what's happening to the hives. Very interesting. Um, this is 
a book that is, has a teaching guide for great, oh, the older grades, but it does have some handouts in there that we used in other centers. So feel free to look at this, but make sure it stays with our intro and conclusion bin so we have it for years to come. Okay, so the snack, we're going to put up some recipes. Um, we always like to have recipes, but some ideas that pop to my head are um, honeycomb cereal. You know, they're in the shapes of the uh, hexagons. Um, honey sticks are great. I think you can get these for about a two dollars or a buck or two at uh, what, Whole Foods? King Supers. Oh, King Supers. So there's eight sticks in here, so you could get one for each kid. These ones just happen to be clover flavor, but I know that they have other ones. Um, and they also had a chance, they'll have a chance to taste some honeys in center three. So really it's a very intensive center about honeybees. It talks about the symbiotic relationship of them and us and all of agriculture. It also talks about we get into some anatomy of flowers in one of the centers because um, bees have very specialized physiology to go and collect honey, and, I mean collect pollen and nectar from flowers. Um, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, if we're running low on supplies, if something seems amiss, please email us at mitchellelf at gmail.com. Thank you.